Alola. And what's the chow chin chow? Shush PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we faced Lana and we faced Ilima for the final time. In today's episode, we're going to sort of break away from doing uh, gym leader rematches because there's only one left to do and it's at night time, so I can't really do it just yet. So what I need to do now is I need to go to the... Uh, the Mart here in uh, Royal Avenue, and we're going to try and get the Eeveeism Z for Eeveeism Z move. That's what we're going to try and do today. And how, if we have, uh, like, I might uh, record a little bit at night time and see if I can find, uh, you know, Kawiwe. If I have time t tonight, I might do that. Right, so Eeveeism Z. What you need to do. Is talk to this guy. Hold on a second, pal. You look like a, you look like a kid. But just by telling, uh, just by looking at you, you look like a pretty decent trainer. Sure, I work as a part-time worker now, but uh, founding away at this register with a smile on my face. But once I was a trainer, traveling round on my island challenge too. I even made a pretty fair name for myself. I was Kiratoga, the EB user. That was me. But now I have a wife and a kid, and I... Now I face a new trial called Mortgage. <laughs> yeah, that's a trial everyone wants to face. Mortgage. No one wants to face that trial, really. So I work here to prepare me for my most important trial of all, old age and retirement. But never mind that. Look, there's something I'd like to, you to do for me, young trainer. Back in my heyday, there were eight trainers. And I was, uh, I was also there trying to beat. They, also, they all use Pokemon Evolve for Eevee. Would you like to take them all on? If you say Kiratuga sent you, I'm sure they'll agree to a battle. If you want to battle, if if you if you can battle them all for me, I have something great for you. It'll be worthy. All right, sure, let's do it. Right, so uh, he has friends. There, are eight, there are seven of them, and each of them has an evolution. So let's see where they are. So, the Vaporeon user is a teacher. Uh, the Flareon user. He's in the Tide Song Hotel. Alright. Uh, let's go for the Jolion user. Uh, Jolion user is... I think she's in the uh, community center of Maui City. Espeon user, where are you? The power plant. Okay. Umbreon user. Uh, you are at the cemetery on Mele Mele Island every night. I might not be able to fight you just yet, Anne. Glaceon user. Uh, Melly, Melly, uh, a small village in Melly, Melly Island. And then the... The Leafion user? Is in the Hundo Grand Resort, and finally the uh, Sylveon user is. I think it's in Seafolk Village somewhere. All right, so guess this episode's gonna have a few jump cuts and some other stuff too. But first off, let's fly to the school back in Mele Mele Island.
Let's fly to the school. Because there should be a teacher here. So, I believe it's on the third floor near the staff room that this teacher should be. Yeah, it's you. So these people will come out once you talk to them. So once you talk to the guy about them, so you're not one of the students, uh, are you? Um, what do you want for this old cleaning lady? Are you the Vaporeon user? Well, yes, I suppose I am. What's that? Kiratoga said you to bow me. I don't. Uh, I don't mind, but no complaints out of you. Uh, I mean to beat up this bent old woman. Alright, so, Vaporeon user Polly. Go, criminal. I feel bad beating you up at level 71, almost level 72, and here I am at level 55. Oh, I still can't kill you. That's fine. I don't feel so bad anymore since I still can't one-shot you. There we go. Roderick goes to level 73. Every cloud, every rain cloud has its end, and no one can win against a time match. Now I'm retired from training, I spend my time with Vaporeon cleaning these windows. How's that boy Kiratuga getting along? Is he doing well? Well, he's facing his grand, he's facing his two grand trials, the trial of Mortgage, where the uh, trial captain, of course, is the bike manager. And, of course, the trial of uh, his grand trial, which, of course, is old age and retirement. And the trial captain for that, of course, is death. As he would be. <laughs> but you never win against death, so I'm guessing you would always lose that battle. You'd never get the Z-Crystal from beating it, from beating death in a battle. Although, Death, if you're a real fit, if you actually really exist, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. You know what? Yeah, I challenge Death to a Pokemon battle. See if, see if he actually pick, you know, receives that when I'm 60. Which is not that far away now since I'm almost 30. I can't believe I'm almost 30 now. Somewhere in, po uh, somewhere in this icky town is the... Um, I think it's the Glaceon user. I just can't exactly remember where in Po Town's the, in this town is the Glaceon user. It's in one of these houses. Must be the third house. Are you the Glaceon user? Ah, I think it's this girl here. I'll throw Roderick into the front of the battle. Are you the Glaceon user? When's, when's that grandson of mine coming home? Well, I am Rhea, who used a Glaceon in battle. Are you friends with Kiatuga? Sure, I'll battle you. I've got... I've got to get a, it over with, in no time. Don't worry. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Glaceon user. Rhea.
Go, Roderick! Flare Blitz, go! Criminal Ghost level 72, yay! Okay, so that's Glaceon user done. Next one of these I can do uh, is... Maybe I can face the Umbreon user. It's not night time, but I might be able to face them. Who knows? Yeah, let's hang around the Melee Melee uh, Cemetery and see if we can find them. His heart is still alive. Me? No, you're not it. Are you it? I suppose that's enough for today. I better head home, or that son of mine will be will be bearing off. Uh, will be bratting me again for wandering off. Are you the Umbreon user? Ah, uh, that's really not it. No, it's nothing. Hang on, I'm in the wrong Pokemon to start off with a number on user. Are you the Umbreon user? That was decades ago, old by now. How old are you, boy? I'm 11, apparently. Well, you're not wrong. I was once known as Brayden, the Umbreon user. And you know... And you know, young Kiratuga. How's that little whippersnapper? Sure, I don't mind battling you, though. I'm ch to check my at the hospital soon. He's to go to the hospital soon. All right, fine. Umbreon user Brayden. Just hangs out in a graveyard because he's old enough to. Almost become one of them. Probably. That's probably why he hangs out in a graveyard. Brick Ray, go Woody! Nice! Mean look. I wasn't planning on switching out, you know. Oh, you have a full restore! Why not, Umbreon user, eh? Yeah, why not have a full restore? There we go. Take an extra turn to battle, why don't ya? Woody grows to level 73. Nice. So if you grow to level 73, even better. And your hair's got all out again. You don't even have hairs under your beak. Or you shouldn't have hairs under your beak. There we go. No night uh, can and ever be endless. Dawn snatches it away before the dark. Uh, snatches away the dark. I feel like the light is creeping out of my life, bottling out of stars and stealing away the night. People talk, used to talk to me, uh, talk about me once. I was said to be immortal, but that's nonsense. I was just in a hospital a long while ago. That's all. But human life does end. Anyway, give Kirituga my regards. Okay. Wow, this episode is talking about death a lot. And that's... That doesn't. I don't like that because I've been having a few uh, lately. Uh, I don't want to mention it, but over the Christmas holidays, I've had a few nightmares about death, 
and just uh, things like that. And I'm starting to get over it now, but like, it's really weird. I'm starting to think about, it's really weird to think about death because like, just really is just really weird that I'm starting to think about death and I'm only 28. Uh, so it makes me weird that I'm starting to think about this stuff, but you know, it all happens. You go, everyone goes from something to nothing. That's literally what death is. Going from something to nothing. You being alive to you being dead. Basically, that's what it is. And to tell you the truth, that scares me. But I probably got nothing to. I probably got nothing to worry about. It's probably nothing that I need to worry about just yet. You know, I'm 28. I'm nowhere near death. And especially if I change. Uh, do this uh, planned diet and exercise thing that I got planned for myself. I'm still working on my diet, uh, my meal plan and everything that I need to work on for that diet and exercise thing. And I will give you reports during like Zeta and uh, the Galactic Lock and stuff on that, like how that's going and stuff like that. And we'll honestly see. Because, I don't know, I do kind of want to lose a bit of weight. And I'll see what I can do to actually try and do lose a bit of weight. I don't want to do too much, though. And I don't really want to be ashamed of the fact that I am what I am. I am a, I am a fat guy, and I'm proud. I'm not proud of it, just let me say that. I'm not proud of it, just I am what I am. Yes. What is it? Do you need something from me? Are you the Flareon user? Oh, ah. Uh, I see, you knew Kiratuga. Uh, how would you like a Pokemon bow against me? How nost- you would like a Pokemon battle going to be? How nostalgic! It's been quite a, it's been quite some time. Let's do it. Let's do it, Chad. Go, criminal. Criminal, you scold. Smog. Oh, I got poisons from smog. I can handle this, though. Uh... No, Grill's built for HP. There we go. Ah, that's it. There we go. A fire needs fuel to keep burning, but once the fuel is bends, burns up, only ashes remain. My working life is now over. I have reached retirement. All that I have left is uh, my life and it in it and ashes. Me and my Flareon. I'm done with battling. I'd rather just go to Luma Numa and relax. Okay. I wonder what the retirement age of being a YouTuber is. <laughs> just off the top of my head, I wonder what what age should I kick this in at because you know I would like to go for it I'd like to go for ages I'd like to go until I do die until I do kick the bucket but would people still watch me if I'm like 90 years old and uh you know still recording episodes of Pokemon hello and jo hello what's the children Charles I'm Josh PH games I'm 90 years old and I like to play Pokemon you know would that would that still be a thing like, honestly, if I was, like, 90, would you guys still watch? Answer in the comment section down below. Let me know. Right. You, bikini lady, you are the girl I need to talk to. Now it's time for my appointment with uh, the magician. Are you the Leafeon user? Well, yes, I suppose... Oh, yes, I suppose I am. Who might you be, child? 
a friend of my little sweet Karatugas. Of course, I'd be delighted to battle you. I still have some spirit left in me. Do it, Woody. Um, big blast, go. Sunny day. Fine. I don't mind the sunny day. Intense spiral uh, is a loss uh, for my old body to bear. You're not that old looking at your sprite, you know. A flower blooms brightest. A flower that blooms will wilt and fall. The stalk will winter and return to the earth. But not for Leafy on and me. We ex we refuse to accept such a reality. We will do everything in that money and medicine can do to keep my uh, can do to keep my good looks. But my bones can't help the truth at any rate. Do say hello to Kiratuga for me. True, you know plastic surgery and uh, money and beauty products and all that other stuff they can only hide it for a few years and that it's you know but deep down inside you it's still a thing you know age is still going to catch up with you and i hit the table didn't i right the next person i want to fight is the jolteon user And she's in the Maui Community Center. So let's go there. I think we've actually been in the Maui Community Center in this series. So I need to show that place off. It's the only place I haven't been yet. So here's the Maui Community Center. There's a few random trainers in here. Nothing important. You gave me a strange souvenir. Nice. Remember when we thought the strange souvenir did something? It still doesn't, by the way. Uh, you. Yawn. My old eyes are getting tired. Are you the Jodion user? Well, suppose I am. I'm Jane. Evie, Kiratuga. I'm sorry, child. I don't remember them. I do remember Pokemon battles though, though I'm not sure I'm still up to the one. Don't worry, just stand there for a turn whilst I earthquake you. That's all you need to do. Stand there for a turn whilst I earthquake you. Hello, Jane. I can't exactly remember where the Espeon user is. But I can remember where the uh, Sylveon user is, so I guess we'll go after them next. When lightning strikes the earth, it is swallowed up and then disappears. Even if you try to whip up an, an old body into action, there's limits to what it can do. And besides, I don't really remember anyone called Kiratuga. Alright, fine. At least you gave me a bow. 
In here is a special shop. Sometimes it sells and it sells rare items. This person sells me caps. And can also sell sh in the moon version this person sells shoes. And he'll, um, this person will sell me a shiny stone for 3,000. So now I have a shiny stone. And that's basically it to do with the uh, Maui Community Center. So the next place I want to go... Is the Pony Island to the Seafolk Village? And one of these houses, I believe it's uh, this house here, actually. Yeah, I think it's the Steelix house. Yeah, it's this little girl here. Then I got to go... To, I got to go and get Sylveon some snacks at the Melisada shop and... Are you the Sylveon user? You're looking for the Sylveon user, Skylar. That's my grandma. And that Kiratuga guy asked you to come visit her. Well, my grandma died last year, you know. Oh, I know. Here, I keep the Sil I keep Sylvie on now. So how about I battle you instead? That's tragic. The Sylvie on using um uh, the actual official Sylvie on user died. So this is Kira, her her granddaughter. Who I'm battling now. That's pretty good. I mean, oh, light screen. Okay, fine. I'm going to switch up to physicals. I'm switching up to physical tracks. Drill pack. Ah, that's it. I wonder if I retire. I could pass. I wonder if I, if I, when I do retire from YouTube, I could pass on my channel to like my daughter, uh, my sons, and stuff like that. And then that could be. This could be the thing I pass on to them. Yeah, this could. This could actually be the thing I pass on to people. That would be rather cool. This could be my inheritance, the thing I pass on to my kids when I'm older. You know, my YouTube channel. That could be my thing. Yeah, I could pass my YouTube channel on to people, you know, onto my kids. That'd be pretty cool. I don't know why I'm still talking about all this death and things. It's really dark, isn't it? Uh, there's a few more things I can do. I can't remember exactly where the, uh, the Espeon user is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few things. So... First off, there's a battle out here on the um, out here in the fast pony can uh, out here on the pony coastline. So I'm going to switch up to seeds and criminal and do this battle. These two. Hello. Hi there. Uh, yes, you. We're the Hidden Marinas. 
see like we're uh, in a Lola for a shoot and we're taking uh, we're taking all shoot all the shoots ourselves we don't even have a cameraman we don't even have an eight we don't have an agent or anyone to help us but we're gonna be big someday soon that's why we need your help stranger we need shots for our put for our PV, our promotional video for the work, for our work. Well, I can help you out with that if you know what I'm. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We were thinking like a mo, maybe a multi battle. Sure, sure, a multi battle. There'd be a big bad trainer who says, uh, he was so mean, uh, for his hidden marinas, and. Uh, We'd be all cute and like, oh no. So, would you take us on in a multi-battle? Shh. Wait. Why is no way the first option? Is that to just to stop people from spamming A? Is that an A stopper so you like... You know, so people stop spamming A. The Pokemon game is just like, you know, we'll put no as the first option so people stop spamming the A button. Okay, so Luminion and Lantern. Oh, don't show me my mascot. I don't want to kill my mascot with my mascot. <laughs> Out here already. Um, you know what? I'll energy ball the lantern and I will thunderbolt the luminium. That'll do. Siege goes to level 73. The waves of ridicule, blown away by the waterfall. That's a cut. That was so savage. We're going to have, we're going to have the best photos. We owe you, owe you for this. Take these as a reward. Use these uh, every day you think of us. VHMs. We received TM98 Waterfall. And TM94 Surf. We call the hidden. These are called. We call these hidden machines where we come from. Get it? The truth is. Uh, We've got our own hidden sides, yeah. Maybe we're like high-key stars. We're low, but we're low-key HM makers. But seriously, we uh, we make hidden machines. Yeah, we're like the national treasures uh, back in the Kalos region because of our HM skills. But there's no money in making HMs. You can't even sell them. But we heard people don't even need HMs in Alola. So we figured maybe like we could spell them uh, here as regular old TMs, right? And we thought we could sell a ton of these if we opened the market ourselves. Since we're so cute and all. Surf and Waterfall are both super strong TMs. You should like at least to, to try them. Teach them to one of your water Pokemon pals. That would be savage. Thanks again for your help. You better stay our fan. Don't forget the hidden marine, your hidden marinas. All right, fine. Uh, next thing I want to do. Um. Let's go back to Po Town. Because I believe there's something we can do uh, there too. Um, uh, 
and then we can go and see that where this EV on uh, this Espion user is. So, returning to Pro Town, you'll know you'll notice that all the barriers are gone because team scores uh, fallen apart. But going into this Pokemon Center right here and attempting to heal your Pokemon. Ready for some fly rhymes in your ear, yo? But, yo, what you didn't hear, yo? This is what... This is what's left of our Team Skull hideout. Gotta get paid, and then we gotta ride out. Team Skull leftover represent. We might have lost, but we don't ever relic And... I feel like we uh, we fell right into the abyss. So, like, why do you come to a place like this? The clothes you're wearing are so unbelievable. To tell you the truth, I find it quite hysterical. Hey, y'all, check Spinder. Uh, check Spinder. Spin it. Spin, Spinder, spin. Looks like you've got no sense in fashion, y'all. Oh, don't you know? That's our passion, y'all. I'll show you uh, what we've got. Uh, what we've got to help you decide. We've got tops, uh, fire, and a Charizard guide. We've got the roughest tank tops you, that you've ever seen. And when you wear skull, a skull tank. You'll sure look mean. Spin, spin, spin the spin, spin the spin. With a, l a price so low, you can't say no. Just ten grand, you wanna buy one, yo? Sure, why not? I not? You bought a skull tank. Making mad sales to get out of the scrape. Gonna make some money and then make our escape. Spin, spin, spin to spin. Okay, so that's the last thing you can do in Po Town. You just buy the Team Skull tank top. And now let's go back to the uh, Royal Avenue and see if we can find this es uh, ask uh, Kiratuga where this Espeon user is. Yeah, let's do that. Because I can't remember where the Espeon user is. He's the only one we haven't faced. And then we'll end and then we'll face him and then we'll end off this episode by getting the easy the Eeveeism Z. Hey, Kiratuga. The Espeon user. Ah, he's at the power plant. Okay. Right, let's go into the power plant then. Charizard, fly me to Route 12 on Ula Ula Island. Let's go up here then. Uh, I think it's yeah, it's this guy by the TV. Uh, let's switch into Sophie. Sophie can add on Espion. I mean, it's seen Sophie for a few episodes too. I suppose I should be moving. I need to fix Espeon's uh, some sipper. Are you the Espeon user? Why, uh, that's a question I haven't heard in many long years. I am Isham. If that's what you mean, Kiratuga. 
Oh yes, I remember that boy. Now that brings the tale back to me. And you want to have a battle with me? I suppose I could. But please keep in mind I am an old man. You're the Espeon user. And I have an Alolan Persian. Sophie, Dark Pulse. Nice. No need for two suns in the sky. Even the sun itself who rises with such glory in the morning must eventually set. So it is for human life, I think. I think that I see the moon rising over the horizon. So what about that Kiratuga? Uh, he's not much younger than me. Do tell him I said hello. Okay. I'm sorry about all uh, people talking about all this death and destruction. It's kind of dark, isn't it? It's very dark, actually. And the final match I got to face is Kiratuga, so... It's back to Royal Island for me. Back to Royal Avenue, and then um, this episode will probably end off. So, take a look, so think about these as like the final bits of Sun and Moon. I mean, I might record like a special uh, little section to a bit, to add to this video once uh, once it is night time tonight because I don't have the ability to do that now because I think the game throttles you if you change the clocks, so uh, I don't want to do that. Like most Pokemon games. What? You beat... Wait, what? You beat them all? What happened then? Time is cruel to us all, isn't it? Fine then, I'm ready now. I'm the last... I have one last favour to ask you. Would you let me face you in a battle? Of course. If we do this... Uh, if I do this, I think I'll be ready. So let's go. Okay, so the final battle of... The, the second to last official battle of Pokemon Sun and Moon, for me, is against an Eevee. Go, Sophie. Level 57 Eevee. Um, let's go for Power Jam. Double Edge. I can take that. And um, thanks to the recall, it's another power gem, and you're dead. Well, your Pokemon's uh, dying. Your Pokemon's faded. Level 73 from Roxy. Nice. Enough is enough. Our day has come to. Our day has come and gone. And I haven't forgotten your reward. Here, take this. The Eeveeism Z. I used crystals like that when I was a young trainer, but I don't need it now. You use it and build your a new age. I'll stay here and take control, uh, take care of my mortgage and the old age. Sure. Good luck against those trials, mate. I think everyone's going to worry about those trials someday. Even me. Joe's PH Games. But this is where I'm going to choose to end off today's episode. I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center right here on Royal Avenue at Heal Up. And that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you did enjoy, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, 
in the next episode, I guess what we'll be doing is uh, I'll be hunting down all the Zygarde cores, and that might that might take a while to come out. That might take a while to come out because I've got a, like a, a load. I probably got a load of them to get. Actually, how many have I got to get? I want to know. Before I stop this episode, I want to throw up my Zygarde cube and see how many uh, check. I've got 67, so I've got um, 33 left to find. So, yeah, I'm going to have to look through my guides and find them all, and then we'll see what happens. Like, massive grinding montage style, uh, just to get perfect Zygarde, and then see what that looks like in battle. Uh, so until next time, I'm Jewish PH Games, and I am out. See you guys again.